Andrew, the Penguins have lost two straight home games for the first time all season, but rather than question how that's happened at such a critical time, maybe a better question is how in the world have they gone 8-3-3 three and three in the month of March with all the injuries they've had? It's been crazy around here. We have so many guys wandering around and walking around here. It's, it's, it's wild, but uh, I remember from when I came here last year, guys do a good job of making you feel comfortable and uh, you feel right at home right away. And, um, with the injuries, um, they've done a great job coming in and helping us. Finding enough healthy bodies for the team picture this morning was no easy task. Quite a few players haven't played at all in March on an injury list that has grown longer rather than shorter. The current injuries have caused 80 man games missed. The number is up to 243 for the season, an average of about three guys out of the lineup every game. A year ago, down the stretch drive, the Penguins finished the regular season 14-2. With Washington and Columbus winning again last night, perhaps rather than focusing on the standings, the team needs to look more at how they play the last seven games. Yeah, you don't really want to uh, limp into the playoffs and kind of be losing a few games uh, heading into it. I think momentum is a huge thing in this game, and if you're playing well going into playoffs, I think that carries over big time. So we want to make sure we're playing our best and playing well going into that. There could be some help on the way tonight. Connor Sheary and Chad Ruido are officially game time decisions, but both are expected to play. Mark andre Fleury will start in goal. At PPG Paints Arena, Guy Junker for Pittsburgh's Action Sports.